Tonight, T-Mobile changes how you pay for phones, streaming radio on YouTube, and a movie that you can lean into. Tech News Tonight is next. This is Twit. This is Tech News Tonight, show 10 for January 24th. 2014. I'm Shannon Morris, and we'd like to wish Mac a happy 30th birthday. Let's get right into the tech feed. New smartphone financing plans offered by carriers are a hit with customers, according to a survey by Consumer Intelligence Research Partners. Close to one-third of eligible customers on the four major U.S. carriers chose a financing plan instead of a subsidy between July and December of last year. That's huge because most carriers started offering such plans only last summer. A financing plan means the carrier pays for your phone up front, and then you pay them back with a monthly payment. A subsidy is when the price of the phone is discounted with the remainder paid for as part of the wireless service contract. The difference is that when the phone is paid off on a financing plan, you stop paying. With a so-called subsidy, you keep paying. That's what I'm doing right now. It stinks. T-Mobile was first to introduce financing last year as part of its uncarrier plan. And since then, AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint all jumped on the financing bandwagon. The Last FM is trying a novel approach to streaming radio. They are experimenting with YouTube instead of their own built-in player. It's possible Last FM is going this route to cut down on licensing costs. It's tough going out there for internet music streaming companies with competition from Spotify, RDO, Pandora, Apple, and Google Play. And we're going to see if this tactic will actually work for Last FM. Now, are you ready for another Facebook movie? I know I am. <laughs> Sony Pictures just bought the film rights to Facebook COO Sheryl Sandberg's best selling book, Lean In Women, Work, and the Will to Lead. Sony's previous Facebook flick was the 2010 blockbuster, The Social Network. The Lean In book is filled with Sandberg's stories about women in leadership roles with fighting, that are fighting to achieve their goals while battering battling gender inequalities. The book is nonfiction, but the actual movie will be a fictional drama. And earlier today, a Gmail outage and Google Plus glitches, and then the world came to a complete halt. And then we're back. It all lasted about 50 minutes, 50 terrible minutes. Plenty of time for Jimmy Fallon to tweet, don't panic, here's a puppy to get you through. Aw, enough said with that. <laughs> now coming up, Google's huge robot dog gets a starring role in a new independent feature film at Sundance. But first, with us today is Kevin Tofel, who is a senior writer for GigaOM. Thank you so much for joining us, Kevin. Hey, always good to be here, thanks. Now, the new Apple iPhone famously lacks support for Near Field Communication Technology, or NFC, which is used on some Android phones for secure wireless mobile payments. But today, you wrote about a new product that brings NFC to the iPhone. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. It, uh, it's called the Incipio Case Wrap, and it costs $69. It's a... Uh, uh, basically, it's, it's a case that adds NFC. It has a little secure element right in the case, and it fits right in, uh, your phone fits right into it. So this way, you can actually use the iPhone to make wireless payments. You would go to a payment terminal and just swipe your iPhone, and, and the payment would go through, just like Android phones have been able to do. Um, not too sure that uh, fans will be too happy. It covers up the lightning port and, uh, and the speakers on the bottom of the case. So that could be a, a tough sell for, uh, for some people. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't sound very fun at all. Is this already available or is it coming out soon? It actually it actually uh, is available today online. You can go to uh, AT&T's online store or you can actually pick one up next week at the AT&T retail stores. And that's the interesting bit. This only works with what's called ISIS payments. Um, that's a carrier-backed payment system that is backed by AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. But strangely, this case only works with AT&T iPhones. Oh, that's interesting. Well, do you think that other third-party NFC products or even this cash wrap case are actually going to catch on to iPhone users? You know, I, I think a few, maybe a small number of iPhone users might be interested in this, but honestly, I don't see iPhone people saying, hey, you know, I've got to have NFC because Android has it. We already have Passbook and iOS and there's your Starbucks card and various other payment methods. So I just don't think it's going to be a huge hit, but we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, I, f I kind of feel the same way. Thank you so much, Kevin. It was a pleasure to speak to you about that. Thanks, Shannon. And you can keep up with Kevin's work over at gigaohm.com. 
Now we end with this. Remember the creepy robot dog from Boston Dynamics called the Big Dog? A replica of it is being featured in a Sundance Festival film called Young Ones. In the story, water shortages have happened and turned the country into a barren wasteland and water must be protected at all costs. The robot is used as a pack mule for the main character's journeys. Now, Big Dog himself, unfortunately, would have several complications due to audio and other problems, leading the production to create a replica and use visual effects to recreate the robot. I'm so stoked to see this. I can't wait. And that's it for this edition of Tech News Tonight. And remember to subscribe to our podcast at twit.tv slash TN2. Our next new cast is Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific. I'm Shannon Morse. Good night and stay classy, Internet. Bandwidth for Tech News Tonight is brought to you by Cashfly.com. <laughs>